Hi friends! It's Banjo Tooie! Look at that dragon. Yeah! Last time was such a blur that I completely forgot that we did the dragon thing until I talent trotted to get here to start the <laughs> video. Yeah, it was a little bit. Let's, it was a little let's bit. Let's open the next level up. What's this one? Well, you can see there's some there's some fiery oh, lava stuff in it. I know this one. We've seen this you one. Well, we've seen it, haven't we? Have we? You showed me the um, the frosty peaks, and there's there's gonna be like a fire bit to it. Oh yeah. Okay. There was um it was the same oh, thing yeah, in Grumpy's uh, Revenge. The I safe think. was in the ice end. Yeah. Yeah. See, I remember. Yeah, you remember. I remember. Well, I don't know why I tried to put that there. And just forget everything. Just most of it. I mean, I'm the one who forgot everything. <laughs> Alright, I'll remind you. Don't worry. Thank you. I remember the first half because I just edited the first half of that session, but... <laughs> I like this next stage a lot. It is not my favorite, but it is one of my favorites. It looks interesting. I like ice levels. I don't really like fire levels, but I like ice levels because I'm the Canadian. I just like snow. Yeah, I like snow. And Banjo is not so bad since uh, Kazooie, like the talent shot, cancels out ice physics. Yeah, that is very nice, isn't it? Look, it's this place. We've been here before. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the temple. Yeah. You can see the door's got a snowflake and a fireball on it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah, even they, realize that. They thought it all out. <laughs> They're geniuses, those rare, rare folks. I don't have enough jiggies to attempt the uh, next challenge, so I'm going to see what it, how many jiggies we need. Okay, we need to get at least three jiggies in this level. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> or else our progress will be stymied. It's actually catching up to us, huh? Yeah, but there's only one level left and we're gonna get at least three. One level left, not counting the one we just opened, that is. Back to the cliff top. Yeah. I remember when we were here before. Why am I going down here? That's not the right place. I feel like there was something I wanted to do in terms of like revisiting a stage, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, I remember now. I'll do that later. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I have no idea if you're lost. Look, it's this guy. Hello. We've nearly got all the black gingos now. Yeah, there's a lot of them in the tail end. Yeah, just random chance. Yeah. They're all hiding out in the back. Mm -hmm. Is that a Gobi tent? Mm -hmm. Was that go Oh, it's Gobi, baby. We finally made it to the lava world. It's Gobi, baby. We're gonna antagonize him. Always. We're gonna kick his ass. Always. We're gonna track that boomer down and harass him out of this world. Mm hmm. Gobi has no rights. It's not protected under the Constitution. No, I don't think our Constitution worries too much about camels, of all things. Check this tent out. It's got a cool wolf on the side. Oh. I thought that was, like, Gobi because of the design, like he'd live there, but... Nah, someone someone who likes wolves or is associated with wolves was there. Oh, Some... no. Oh, it's a dragon! So, uh, man, I'm having some trouble today. <laughs> I 
can't just keep sliding off those pillars. It's alright. The talent shot looks like it's a little weird on those things. Yeah. So that dragon, if you're outdoors, just rains fire upon you. Oh. Uh, he I does see not stop. Uh, I see we entered a kickball stadium, by the way. Yes. So, uh... I'm glad it's not just the FPS sections that get, like, a second do. A second do these guys. We still don't speak their language. You gotta go all the way back to the first world. And get the transformation. Gargoyles here. But you can't take transformations out of worlds. Oh, uh, that's true. Okay. He's hanging out. Huh. Hey there. It's behind an extremely hot waterfall. I bet it's a ninja. Oops, that's not the right button. That's not it either. It's <laughs> having some trouble today, that's okay. Hey, look where we are. Oh. Yeah, see? Yeah. See? Yeah. I told you. Do Let's just do that now. I told you. Yeah. Kickball. I I bet you can take it out of this world. I bet. Mm -hmm. Not via the main entrance though. No, no. You have to take the roundabout way. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. I really like that. Yeah, I really like taking a transformation from one stage to another, even if it's only for, like, a single, like, tiny building in the other one. Yeah, it's... It's really neat that you get to do that. Yeah, I like that. Now, this grate was here the whole time. I don't think I called special attention to it our first visit, but I sure don't remember. I don't remember it, but it's been, like... 15, 16 episodes? Uh, yeah, give or take. Coliseum Professional Kickball Championships. They play by golf rules here. Golf rules. Okay. So we want the lowest score, which means we play it like a real game, where we kick into the other people's goals instead of our own. Oh. That does make sense. It's more like a Mario Party game now. Yeah. And it's way easier. Cool. You gotta bully the purple guy. Yeah. But see, they get distracted with each other a lot, so it's not actually, like, hard at all because they're not designed to all gang up on you. That's good. That's good. It's... it's trivial. Oh, shit. It looks oh, kind of fun. Five. Yeah, it's not bad. It's actually, uh, it's nice that it doesn't feel stacked against you. It would suck if it did. Yeah. <laughs> they change them up more, though. Okay. Just like the last one changed it up every time. Yeah. Who's throwing fireballs at you in the, like, kickball there's, stadium wall? There's gargoyles on the walls that spit fire. Alright, that's they suck. So this one brings back the red balls. In okay. fact, it's only red balls, so now we play it like the regular kickball. <laughs> okay, yeah, why not? Gotta get the lowest score. That red guy's gonna kick your ass. Yeah, he's uh, having a good time. I 
Yeah, I like that everyone starts with 50 points and it's just who can get the lowest. Yeah, it's cool. Even if it's effectively the same as round one of the mine kick ball where it's just kick yellow and do your own goal. Yeah. I miss these jiggies. Yeah, they're fun. I miss this. These and are the of good course. Times. No FPS nonsense that takes 30 minutes. <laughs> and as you would expect, both balls exist now. Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's just more kickball. You're okay, now they're bullying me. Yeah, you're kind of getting screwed over this time. This one might be a... Might be, might a, be wash. a loss. Yeah. yeah. Hey, he got ganged up on a bit too much. They rigged the match. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're... They're not programmed to do that, I don't think. I think that was just a random chance of really <laughs> fucking me over bad. They do seem to clump up a lot. Yeah. So maybe if you just get unlucky. Hmm. Maybe the real strategy is just to like get the balls and just kick them away from your goal. Yeah, just play defense. Maybe. Let's try that this time. Just play goalie. Yeah. It's the most fun way to play, where you stand still. Yeah. In front of a net. This is actually working, huh? Yeah. They're not even trying me this time. Maybe it's because I'm defending it. Maybe they have an AI like, oh, don't fire it towards the player. May or maybe. maybe not. Oh, never mind. They just kicked. They just kicked you out of the way. I guess. Shit. Okay, it still worked out. Nice. We did it. Yeah, that went, that went fine. Yeah. Congrats. Then we gotta achieve it. I don't know what this means, it's kind of ominous. Uh, yeah, I don't know what... I'm just assuming that they is referring directly to you and me. <laughs> yeah. Get ready for the third kickball stadium. Yeah. There is one more world left. Oh, plus God. the final area. Final world plus one. Yeah. Final boss is just a kickball game with Grunty and her sisters. <laughs> that would be pretty good. <laughs> that one honestly owed. Look at that Dragon Kazooie. Dragon Kazooie is pretty cool. Just the perfect reward for a kid. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Now where? Oh, there it is. See, you can see that gargoyle there for a second. Yeah. Alright, so there's actually more than one way to get this Jinjo. There's an ability Banjo gets in this level that can get you through this hot water safely. But you can also just do it Kazooie style. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, a use for an ability from Banjo Kazooie that isn't like one of your basic moves. Yeah. 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 If you touch the water, it just repels you and does damage. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, oh. They should let you do that more. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they should have added fewer abilities. Yeah, they kind of went overboard with this game. Particularly in the new abilities department. 
and it's like they felt the need to make sure there's abilities in every single level, which exacerbates the backtracking to a degree that is an issue for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, having abilities in every level also wasn't that great in Kazooie, I didn't think. Well, they only had abilities in like the first six levels in Kazooie. How many levels were there? Oh, there were nine. Oh, yeah. There were no abilities in Rusty Bucket Bay, or Click Clock Wood, or Mad Monster Mansion. I guess I just remember more levels having abilities than there really were. Yeah. It happens. What's in here? This might be like a banjo thing. Yeah, it's a banjo thing. Guess That's we'll do this. Thing. Why the hell not? So we got a Jiggy within the first few minutes of coming here, which is a nice change of pace. Yeah. It really feels like Grand Industries is meant to be the last level, and I don't know why it isn't. It's a little weird. The actual last level is a very good level, but it doesn't feel like a final level. It's just a level. <laughs> Maybe they want to send you off on a positive note? Maybe, yeah. Okay, everything's okay. All right, that's gonna be work. So I need to get Kazooie way the hell up there. All right, let's see how you do it. I have no idea how you would even start. I know how to do it, but I'm not sure about like all right let's let's just head off and start exploring parts of the world that i haven't been to yet as all just right, kazooie because cool. there's a thing that i should have probably gotten sooner this water is very hot by the way you don't want to go in it spicy water mm -hmm. that's dorito water yeah wow. i like uh i like these hands oh I like them it, a lot more before realizing that they're just the grill chompas. Oh, yeah. Right, I forgot that guy is there and he's a dick. <laughs> but he helps with this. Oh, very cool. And that's how we get to the thing. Oh, that makes sense. God damn it. Jesus. That's just not fair. Seems a little bit annoying. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Alright, so we permanently opened the gate to that Kazooie switch so that we can stop pressing it with banjo and go press this other one. Oh, uh, you're going back and forth climbing up the Coliseum. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, any game with two controllable characters has to has a, has to have a sequence like this. Yeah, exactly. And look at that. It's another Jiggy already. Jesus, don't don't get too crazy. What's up, Banjo? What is this, Banjo and Kazooie? Yeah. Oops. Remember I'm your nap do... pack. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna do the the strat. All right, very good. I don't remember which thing to do. The thing with Banjo's packs is that it's impossible to remember the controls for each individual one. Because originally on the Nintendo 64 it was like hold Z and press one of the four C buttons. Which is yeah. also hard to remember and now it's hold Z and press in a direction on the right analog stick. 
Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. The Nintendo 64 was a weird controller. It sure was. Like, it works really well for the Nintendo 64 games, but trying to move a Nintendo 64 game to any other controller, it's like, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. I hate the Nintendo 64 controller. Yeah, it's not a good one. It's horrible. Yeah, ah. Slick moves. Yeah. Train station. This is where Gobi's hiding. That rat think fuck. Exactly. Hunt him down. I have to remember how to open the train station first. Alright. Do you actually open it in here or do you open it outside? Oh, I remember how to open the train station. It's not in here. Okay. I appreciate the preview. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, no, this isn't right. I was just come. I just came out of there. How the hell do you open the train station? <laughs> You'll probably find it. Yeah, I'll either find it or just remember it. There's a lot of stuff to remember. Yep. Oops. Oops. Oof. Well, at, at least I got, got the, the war pad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So where's the snow part? Uh, it's it's around. We just haven't been there yet. Got right, so much well, to do in the fire part. I'm looking forward to the snow. Mm -hmm. We'll go there soon. Alright, thank you. First we have to go to a very hot part. It's suffocating. It's, yes, it's so hot in here we can't breathe. That's pretty brutal. Yep. I mean, Jeez. we're inside a volcano. Realistically, both of them would be on fire and melting right now. Yeah, I, I think that's what the bar actually represents. Yeah. It's their bone integrity. Mm-hmm. Once you run out of bubbles and it's just uh, your HP draining, that's their skin melting off of their bodies. Yeah. It's fine, they'll play it off like a joke, because we will say something about being fried chicken or whatever, and then they die. Yeah. Having a time in here. Yeah, having some trouble with that lava. Yeah. Once you fall in, it's hard to get back out. Yeah, it's not like the Mario's where you jump up and grab your butt. Yeah. You jump up, just not as high. Yeah. Your air goes down very slowly, though. Yeah, it's not that bad. It would be worse if we didn't find Royston early on and get the double bubbles. Right, I keep forgetting about Royston's help. Yeah. That's a very important upgrade. Mm-hmm. It's extremely important. Like, the bubbles are a little bit less important. For most of the game than the double fast swimming but both of the things you get from him are super useful what a champ let's go check out these signs see if they have any more cryptic riddles on them yeah those riddles that I, you don't even follow hot links cold in the skull and wigwam Ball of great size. Very cool. Oh, 
There's a little bit of that goby in there. Everyone's Dude. favorite. I'm not sure if I can make this jump, but I want to try. Mm, don't think this is doable. Yeah, it's not. Well, yeah. time to die. <laughs> it's a very defeatist of me. I mean, there's no way to get. Oh, I made it. You see? Now a little man will kill me instead. Never give up. Never give up. We didn't even start suffocating yet. Thank you, Royston. So yeah, we're uh, we're already three di three jiggies deep, and we've been here what, like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes? Holy shit! Yeah. Didn't we leave Grunty Industries with like four or five? Five, yeah, and we were in there for two hours. Hell yeah, I love this game now. Yeah. Alright, we're like out of eggs. <laughs> because oh, of the right. fucking cavern. <laughs> yep. Yep. Alright, let's go to the ice side, how about that? Yeah, very cool. Wait, wait, let's do this real quick. Oh, very sneaky. Honeycomb. They just cannot resist, like, not putting one of those little bastards on a grip grab section or. Mm -hmm. Like a little cliffside. They love them. 